Hey, what is going on guys? It is Colin from CSP Tech here, and today we're talking about RCS. Dieter, this one's for you. So we're gonna be talking about three things in this video. First off, what is RCS? What does that even mean? You guys may have never heard of it, or you've heard about it recently, which is a good thing. Number two, how do I enable it if my carrier already supports it? Or more importantly, how do I enable it if my carrier doesn't support it? And if you're getting, this isn't available right now. And third, we're gonna be talking about troubleshooting it if it's not working for you. I found quite a few resources online and I'm gonna share them with you uh, of how to do that. So let's get right into it. First things first, what is RCS? So what is RCS? RCS is Rich Communication Services, which is basically a new set of standards for how SMS should work on mobile phones. In this case specifically, we're gonna be talking about Android. iOS technically already has iMessage, so people are kind of calling this Android's iMessage, if you will. So SMS has been ruling the game for the past few decades now, and it hasn't really ever changed. We've added a few things like MMS, which was enabling not just text anymore, but also pictures and video, uh, things like contact sharing, but it was basically just sending like a packet of information rather than it being just like a seamless experience. So certain carriers would work, some carriers Carriers, it wouldn't sometimes you would send a picture and it would be decent and then another carrier would be crappy quality I've sent things like contact cards before and they just never show up you share a contact with somebody and it just never shows up on their phone uh, just weird things like that but RCS aims to fix all that and Google is leading the charge on this one and it's really amazing and I want to show you guys what it's all about so rich communication services basically improves all of that if iOS has iMessage Android now has RCS finally. So you get things like higher quality video messaging, uh, Wi-Fi texting, things like that. But you also get the things that people really want, which are red receipts and uh, those little talking bubbles, which is actually kind of cool ever since I've been using it. It's nice to have now. So you can see when somebody's typing on the other end, that stuff's cool. Um, but just being able to send, you know, higher quality videos, actual attachments, those sort of things, it just, it's just the way it should be. It's 2019, we should have an equivalent messaging system on both ends, and I think we finally have it. So that is what RCS is, but let's go into how do you enable RCS, and there's two ways for this. One, if your carrier does support it, great, you just turn it on, I'll show you that in just a second. And if it doesn't, there's a little bit of a workaround that we need to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pop down onto the phone, I'll show you guys how this works on the setup, and that way you can follow along with me. Let's do it. All right, guys, so here is my home screen on my phone. This is an Essential phone running Android 10, Pixel 4 XL video coming very soon. Very excited about that. But the most important icon to be aware of right here is actually this one down here. This is Android Messages or Google Messages, which is basically Google's own version of their SMS app. So if you guys don't use this app, you will not be able to use uh, RCS or chat services, as to my knowledge. Um, but this is the only app that I've got it to work in, and I don't really use another one, so I haven't tested it. Uh, your mileage may vary here. But I do believe that this is actually currently uh, only working on Google Messages. I know there are some apps in the States, some carriers will release their own messaging app, um, but as of right now, you can do this on any Android Messages app. So how this is gonna work is obviously you have your text messages here, but in the little corner here is a little three dots. If you tap on that, you should get a couple different things here and you'll get settings. Once you go into the settings, you'll see that if you have your app updated, you might need to be on the beta version. Uh, I am currently, but if you have this little bubble here, it says chat features, and this is what we're calling RCS, or what RCS is being called by Google. It's called chat. So basically, if you click on that, you'll notice that for me, it already says I'm connected, and it says chat features are ready to use. So option A is when you launch this, your carrier might already support this, so it will actually just say enable chat features, and you can literally just turn it on, and you'll get access to all these things. So as mentioned before, red receipts, typing indicators, that's a little bubble saying somebody's typing, uh, resend messages if it's undelivered, uh, and then also this is the one I was talking about here earlier, high quality video. You can send up to a 105 megabyte file through through SMS now, which is absolutely amazing. So video, pictures, files, anything like that, up to 100 megabytes, which is awesome. Um, so option A is how do you turn this on if you, you know, if your carrier supports it? So you're gonna see when it comes in, you're gonna have something like this. And all you do is you literally just turn it on, connected, ready to use. It should connect. It might ask you to put in your phone number and it'll just take a few minutes to connect. That's totally fine. And then once that's done, you are ready. Nothing else changes, um, but when you're texting somebody, your bubbles will now be blue instead of uh, just the regular SMS gray and lighter blue. Um, so basically, that's how you turn it on when your carrier already supports it. But what if it doesn't? So this is where this gets a little bit more tricky.
Now we get to step three, which is what happens if you cannot get it working? I actually just recently switched carriers and I found that it actually didn't work for me right away on the new carrier. So I had to do a little bit of research just to figure out why it wasn't working and I found the answer. So the easiest answer here is a two-step process. First step here is you're actually going to search into Google here, carrier services. And basically what this is is your basic access to carrier services for um, your carrier. So this is just Google provided. It's like a, a key or um, you know a license for your phone, that sort of thing. And basically what this is doing is if you uninstall this, obviously you'll have some issues with your carrier, but it will basically reset your, um, I don't know if it's resetting your like IP to it or what it's doing, but it's basically just kind of resetting it and resyncing everything. And this is the m easiest way to re-enable RCS. So basically if ever you have any issues, you just hit uninstall. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to that activity launcher and I'll actually show you guys which one that is right here. So if you type in activity launcher, it's this guy right here, Adam uh, Sokalski uh, is the one that you want. This is uh, the good guy. And basically now that we have it De, um, uninstalled, if we go down to messages, I want to show you guys this here. This part's going to be a little bit longer in the video, but I just wanted to show you guys quickly. You'll see that, um, oh, actually, it's still there. One quick second. You also might need to clear cache, clear storage, yes, and then go back to uh, the activity launcher and uninstall everything on your messages. This is basically just a fresh reinstall. So if we go uninstall, and now you'll notice that once this is done in uninstalling, I'm gonna go back to my activity launcher. Again, I'm doing this off the cuff. I don't normally do these like live videos, but I thought it'd be kind of fun just to show you guys the process of how we go through this. Um, so really quick, you'll see that now set RCS flags is gone because the app is completely uninstalled. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here. Oops, actually, we're gonna go to the Play Store. We're gonna update messages back to the beginning. And you'll see that I'm actually also on the beta. So you might need to be on the beta. And then once this updates, you will see that it probably says chat features not available. So let me open that because I don't have it here. Let me go settings, chat features. No, oh, okay, it is there, perfect. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back down to messages. We're going to kill this app, go back to activity launcher. We're gonna do it all over again. And now when you do it, it should work out. So um, again, this you should only have to do if it really doesn't work for you. Um, you basically just have to do a fresh restart and I'll show you guys that really quick. So we're gonna do that process again. I'll show you guys from the beginning um, since you guys might have to do this anyways. Messages, set RCS flags. You'll see that it's completely empty now. So I'm gonna go to the third one, which is RCS prod sandbox, OTP pattern, this guy right here, apply. And then what I'm gonna do is, um, this is really important, you're gonna go to messages you're gonna turn on chat features. See it says setting up, trying to re-verify your phone number. You just hit retry. I'm gonna enter in my phone number really quick. All right, so it says setting up right now. I re-entered my phone number. It's just gonna give a few uh, minutes to, to kind of re-verify it. And then all you need to do now is, now that that's done, you basically just go back to carrier services, give that an update, and that should resync everything and your chat services should be good to go. So we'll try that. And again, you've got to force kill the app in between all of these. So let me go back, force kill messages, and this should now work. If it doesn't, that's fine. Oh, there you go. So see, new friends are typing, enable chat features. I agree. And it's basically saying setting up chat features will let you know when it's ready. Um, it might take a few minutes here for me to be uh, working. So, oh, there it is, uh, connected right there. Boom, we're good to go. So now we're back on chat features, and that is how you do it if ever you have an issue because your carrier doesn't support it. All right guys, so thank you for sticking with me for this long. I know that was a little bit of a rambly part there, but I just wanted to make sure that, oh, kitty, no. <clears throat> hey, cat was climbing all over stuff. Hey kitty, you wanna say hi? Hey, hi Whisper. Whisper, say hi, say hi to the people. No, okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> sorry, that was a little bit rambly. I wanted to kind of run through that with you guys and I'm happy you guys let me run through the whole thing. I wanted to show you guys how the whole process worked from start to finish and I know it was a little bit more live than we had anticipated, but um, what are you doing? What are you chewing? Hey, not that cable. No, that's my type C cable. No. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you are using chat or RCS, let me know what your favorite feature is down below. And if you guys aren't using it yet, let me know if you guys can get it working with this tutorial. This should work on any carrier and any phones. Uh, AirPod clone video coming very soon. That'll be in the next couple days. 
and then Pixel 4 XL video coming very soon as well. I'm very excited. I'm going to pick it up in two hours, and I'm very happy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.